Okay, to start draining the oil on this beast, we're gonna use our 7 8 wrench. Make sure you have your drain pan ready to go. Lefty Lucy. Position your drain pan so if it shoots out, it'll catch it. Good. And sometimes what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a a washer on there. This one, I don't know if it does or not. We'll inspect that area in a minute. Make sure it's clean. Clean it up a bit, but that's some black oil. So after cleaning some of that oil off, you can see there is a washer there, okay? So we can put it back in and be confident that we're not losing it or, or missing it and it won't leak then. So let's see how we're coming along up here. Okay, it's still drooling out. You know, another good idea is to warm up the engine. It'll drain a little faster, but I'm not too worried about that. I just let it drip as soon as it's done here. And I'll probably try to clean the surface off. Alright, when you're happy with that draining and you got this clean and this clean, you go ahead and oh, put it back in the best way you can without cross threading it. Just nice and easy. Whatever way it starts threading in good. There you go. Okay. the wrench on it. So now to get the oil filter off, you're going to want to use this oil filter wrench. And if you use it this way, you'll be tightening it. And if you flip it around, you'll loosen it. And that's the way we want to use it. Oh, got to be a contortionist on some of these things, especially when trying to film it. something get both hands on it or something I can't get it the strap tight enough and then have enough leverage in this position so let's see well we got it took a lot of work and but and then it's gonna drain out a little bit so you want to position your pan underneath and watch maybe some of your frame rail it might follow and drip a bit that stuff nasty and then for this we'll take a rag we'll try to clean up that surface there where the o-ring seals against so number one you make sure there's the old o-ring is not there and then it's a nice smooth surface okay a good thing to get into is looking at this old one and this new one. They were similar size. Hopefully they're good enough. And if you 
just kind of inspect the gasket making sure it's the same size so you know the surface ceiling area is the same it'll work so we're good so we have the same oil filter good use uh, new oil for this I'm just gonna use this old stuff Just wanna get a little bit around on that o-ring so you don't put it on dry. It'll actually make a little better seal for you. And again, don't cross thread. You know the threads just kind of line it up as good as you can. You'll find that angle that it hangs at. Just keep spinning it around nice and easy. There we go, no catch. Once you seed it, go another half a turn. There you go, and that's it. Okay, now let's add some oil. I have to add the oil. Take the cap off. It goes down into the valve cover. Funnel here. Shut that in. And we're going to use the high mileage, thicker weight, 1040. And just add it in. Once you got the last little bit, about five quarts, then you can check the dipstick to see if it's even on there. I think this takes six quarts, so. Once you roll that dipstick, goes down into the little pan. Okay, we're slowly getting up there, about middle of the safe zone. Okay. Okay, this is the sixth quart. We're going to put about half of it in. And that'll put us to the top of the safe zone. And then we'll start it up. Let it fill up the oil filter. And then we'll top it off again. But first, let's see here, I'm missing my battery. Here it is. Got to put my starting battery back in there. Okay, I had my battery charging on my Optimate, the diesel fader charger, and we are green light good, so we'll put the battery back in. And just slid this one on, make sure it's tight. Negative on, make sure it says negative. These are half inch nuts. Just tighten them down. And that's it. You have a battery strap, you just secure it. Don't have one. Now we'll start it up. Get the oil down into the oil filter and uh, let it sit for a second and check the oil. I'm thinking maybe I should check the air cleaner first. It's been sitting all winter and if the mouse was in there, it would have made a nest and it would have just made a mess in there. So we're just going to try to pop this off on hand. Looks pretty good there. Oh, we do have a nest in there though. Damn. You see that? Sucker's 
did build a mess, darn it. Alright, now we'll get that going here. Alright, this one's not going to be too bad, but I do want to take a rag here and cover up that carburetor. Just in case I drop anything down in there, it's not going to mess it up. So the rag will keep that covered. I'll scoop that stuff out. We'll get back in the, on our task here. Okay, now we got to start it up, get the oil ran through. I should probably say, though, it's been, oh gosh, we're at least six months since we started this thing. Come on, baby. So that carburetor is pretty, pretty much dry. Come on. Just inspect for leaks after running it. And again, we make sure nothing is leaking at the drain plug. And it looks good. After you let it sit for a second, oil will go back down to the pan. Nice clean oil. Wipe it off and we'll recheck it. Okay, a little bit low still, so we'll finish adding the rest of that quart. And there we go. So we're the last of the quart. We'll give it a second. We'll check the dipstick. And we should be good. Thanks for watching. Everybody you ready to go? Are we in a recreational vehicle? Oh yes we are, aren't we? Look at that face. Oh, what is the hound dog? Look at that hound dog. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready to motor off. Outstanding.